Hello, this is J.R. Hager. Hope this finds you well today. In my first video of hand-painted or tinted photographs, I showed you an image of a caboose, which is rather cut and dry, very simple to do. Today I found one that I did about a month ago. It has quite a bit more detail to it. I'll show it to you here. This is the end result. Hopefully you can see that. There's not too much glare in there for you. Okay, what, what I've done first is uh, to pick out the colors that I want to use. Uh, and I'm going to start off with the yellow, the same yellow I used for the caboose. There are a few other colors in here that I can use. A, a, a yellow, uh, other colors of yellow that I can use. But I'm going to start off with this yellow. And I'll do the the flower petals here in yellow. And next color I think I'll use is brown for these areas here. Matter of fact, I don't think that is brown. Some of you artists out there might know what it is, but it'll work for me. That's good. Now I'm going to head on to the greens. For this area here, I like that green. And if you'll notice as you paint along here, you'll use uh, the same color green. But the original tone on the black and white was darker, so your green is going to be darker, just, just like that. Which isn't much of a green. Let me find out what that is. That's called Viridian Hue. Whatever it's called, it works for me. You notice I went over the edge here a little bit. That's not a problem. Just take a Q-tip, go right around the edge. All gone. Or your finger. That's 
good. I think I might even do that up here for this part of the bud. That's fine. And um, I think I'm going to throw in a little blue in this area here. Just let your imaginations run wild with you. There's no laws here. And I'm going to put something a little wild here. Go a little crazy. And I'm going to use the, the color I used for the tail light in my, my caboose. In my first video. Just do a little bit like that. like that and I'm going to use that same color down here on this bud on a few sides of it and I'm going to go up and use this Use some more of that green. I like that green. Good. And I'm going to use that same red that I used. Over here. That shows up real nice. Might get a little facial tone here. these faces like that no and you could color everything in here have everything a little bit colorful but uh, I'm going to keep it the way it is I like the difference in there and it does give a 3d effect let me zoom in here for you show you. Isn't that nice? Well, hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Have a good coloring class of your own. If you're a teacher or something, this would be ideal for your students. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.